There's one episode of The Penguin to go and the shit's gonna hit the fan. Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. I'm James, thanks for stopping by. If you love The Penguin, hit that subscribe button. We talk about it all the time. And when it's done, we're gonna talk about The Batman 2 and beyond more stuff coming up, including possibly a Joker HBO show. Hit that subscribe button. We're hoping to hit 4,000 subscribers. I'm working on it. I wanna know your predictions for episode eight of The Penguin in the comments down below. Let me know. With one episode to go of The Penguin, things are looking to get wild. Oscar wild. That's right, the title of this episode is Great or Little Thing, which is a line from an Oscar Wilde poem called The Ballad of Reed Jail. The Ballad of Reading Jail is about guilt, suffering, and the human condition focusing on a man condemned to death and the emotional torment of prisoners. It explores themes of love, regret, and the harsh realities of justice, emphasizing how, in the face of mortality, people cling to profound emotional experiences, like love's first kiss, as a way to find meaning in their suffering. Probably not gonna talk about love's first kiss, but this trailer is exciting. If you haven't checked it out, I'll put the link in the description down below. It is a phenomenal looking trailer. Very short again, not giving away too much, not showing their hand, but there is a lot to discuss. First, this is gonna lead into the Batman 2. So whatever we see here, we'll have to understand in the Batman 2 without actually seeing this episode of TV. That's kind of crazy on its own. Why would you not watch this, first of all? But secondly, they've gotta blend in together in a way that whatever happens is kind of, you're like, I understand it based on maybe a line of dialogue or whatnot. Then we are transported immediately to Munro's, where we know the final confrontation between Sophia and Oz will take place in broad daylight with Julian Rush and some other henchmen there, of course. But Munro's is where they go to dance at the end. But what's intriguing now is we're seeing a lot of emphasis put on Francis and Oz, young Oz, and also some Rex Calabrese. He noticed them entering the club and he talks to them. And we're gonna get a little bit later what I think is gonna go down in this episode, but it has a lot to do with young Oz promising his mom that he will look after her forever and ever and ever. So there's gonna be a lot of hurt going on. Then we get Victor, who was mostly absent from the last episode. Obviously he was beaten, left for dead possibly. Oz found him, said, hey, you gotta go get us again. You gotta get us an army, go pick them up, and he's on it. But when he first meets them, he's getting beaten. So something's going on there. It looks like he's arriving at the Crown's Point right after the explosion. Something's going on there where the other gang that he's meeting is blaming him for that explosion, blaming Oz for that explosion, I don't know. But later on, you see them driving down. So I'm suspecting that they, they get together. They have a get together moment where they come to terms with one another. He might promise them a piece of the pie saying that it's not all lost or whatever. And they get together and they decide to head down. But not a lot of Victor going on here. Where Victor's story goes, we're gonna talk about that. I also have some other videos that talk, talk about that as well. If you wanna check those out, but Victor is on a war path. We see Oz now with a gavel in his hand and with the name Bella Real. It looks like he's gonna to start to have grasp on this city, kind of like Carmine Falcone had. This is his bringing up in power and the power chain. It's gonna be the Penguin family by the end of this. There's no more Falcone, there won't be any more Maroney. It'll all be Oz Cobb, unless he adopts the name Cobblepot. I don't think so, but it'll be Oz Cobb, and that's gonna be the Cobb crime family now. From here we get Sophia, and Sophia's gonna have a lot of moments with Francis, and they're gonna talk, and she's gonna tell Francis about what she lost, and then it looks like she's gonna cut off Francis' finger. It looks like she's gonna cut off Francis' finger, which would go in line with Alberto Falcone from the first episode, of course, and it would be ultimate payback for Oz, and Oz will see his mother tortured, of course, in there. Now, I'm gonna go out on the limb here, and I obviously, I think we all think that Frances is not gonna make it past this episode. I think she's gonna die, but I think, and I think a lot of people have mentioned this in the comments as well, but I think Penguin is gonna, I think Oz Cobb, Penguin, is gonna be the one that ends up killing her. I think that's foreshadowed, obviously, in the previous episode when she said if her mind starts going too far to do it, I think taking her finger off and everything that Sophia's gonna say to her, I think it's gonna end up being too much, and Oz is gonna have to end up putting that bullet in her to end her life, and that'll be, and once she's gone, once Francis, once Oz's mom's gone, that's why there's so much emphasis on that in the beginning of this trailer, because once Francis is gone, he can do whatever he wants. He has no one to protect. There's no one in his life that means anything to him anymore. Nothing except for him, power, and money. That's all that matters to Oz Cobb. There's nothing else in the world that can matter to him. And that is when he's gonna to start to really, I think we got the penguin in the last episode when he emerges from Crown Point after the explosion, but now we're gonna get full-blown penguin. Nothing is going to matter to this man anymore. He is a Batman villain, and that is that. The only thing that really goes against my idea here is that we see Sophia kind of smiling at some flames and maybe she burns Francis alive, which would be brutal. Maybe she burns Victor alive, also brutal. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. 
And of course, Sophia exclaims, Oz Cobb, the man of the people, which if he goes into politics, could be a thing. I don't think he will. I think this, this one is too crime written for that, but also it's Gotham City. They're very dirty. He could go into politics in Gotham City. That wouldn't be such a far fetch, but I think he's going to stick with the gangster life and he's going to be the big boss. One of the big bosses in the Batman too, obviously, and his story is not done here. It's going to obviously continue. Hopefully, you know, depending on how this goes, I would love to see a second season, obviously, if they have a story to tell. If they don't, I'm fine with this eight, eight episode arc. It looks like it's gonna go gangbusters. We have some pictures now that HBO has, or that Warner Brothers has released. Let's take a look at those. First, we have this shot of Frances. I'm guessing her finger is, is not in this photo either. She's looking down. This is, she's not gonna make it out of this room, I don't think. I think this is where it all is, is gonna go down. Uh, Oz is gonna find her in a state of shock, despair, and, and just the mental state that she can't come back from in his mind. And he's gonna have to pull the trigger and take her out. Rex Calabresi, there's a, a there's more focus on Rex Calabresi in the end from actually seeing him on screen than just Penguin talking about him. And I'm starting to suspect that young Penguin who killed his brothers might actually take out Rex Calabresi. He might actually take him out. And that's why Oz keeps trying to hype him up to everybody that he talks to. He's like, have you heard of this guy? Because I took that guy out, the big kingpin in Gotham, I took out when I was a boy. You respect me, you respect Oz Cobb. I think they could be doing that here because there are other instances where you see Francis looking over at Rex and there's an uneasy relationship there. And also, if you remember that his brother in the last episode said that Rex wasn't paying his mom what, he, what he, she was worth. So I think you can actually see young Oz kill, take down Rex Calabresi. He can't obviously become anything popular or big within the crime family at that point in time, but I could see him killing Rex Calabresi as a child, and that would really, really show his progression as a villain, right? From a child, you're like, oh, he's an innocent child. Did he actually mean to kill his brothers? Did he not? No, he did, and he took out Rex Calabresi. And Rex, you know, you could say that's unbelievable, but he would never see it coming from such a young boy who he had no respect for. You can see here that Frances is looking miserable in the club that she wants to go to where she's dressed in her Sunday best. And Oz is there saying, hey, Ma, I'm going to look after you the best I can. But see, they also get a glimpse of Rex looking over at them and with very disrespectful. Now we jump over to Victor, who is in thought, deep contemplation in this car. Is he thinking about ditching Oz? Understanding who Oz truly is? Thinking about ditching him in this moment? We don't know. Uh, Victor's, Victor is one of the characters in the show where you just, you have, he is in wild card, right? We don't know where he's going to end up. Oz Cobb, Penguin, looking badass as always. That's all you got to say here. This is his rise to power. He is the hero of the story, but he's also the big bad guy. You can't root for him. If, you, if you're still rooting for him after last week, this episode, I think is going to guarantee us that you cannot root for him. Sophia, my guess is she's speaking with either Julian Rush or Francis in this moment. I'm really looking forward to this episode. I don't know what to expect, to be honest. I have some ideas, some theories, and whatnot. We've talked about it on the channel. I'll do probably another video before the show comes out, before we watch this episode. But it could go in so many different directions. Obviously, I think we know that Oz Cobb is going to survive this show. I think some people are speculating that he might not. But the one thing is Sophia. Will Sophia make it out of this series alive? If she does, will she have a part in the Batman 2? Or will she just be tucked away in Arkham and they won't have to deal with her? That is a great question. I think putting her in Arkham is probably a worse fate than death for her at this point. And I think when we see Oz in the chambers, maybe this is a hint that of where she is going. She's going back to the place that created this monster of Sofia Gigante. Beyond that, I gotta say, I do think Oz is gonna take out his mom, but I think what's gonna happen is he's gonna be taken to Monroe's with Julian Rush and Sophia, and the red light ther therapy is gonna be performed on Oz, and he's going to admit to killing his brothers, and his mother, who might have a slight idea that this was the case, is now gonna understand that she's gonna lose her mind, and this is gonna take her even deeper and deeper and deeper down into her Louis body, and she might, and Oz might be like, you can't recover from this, she's lost a finger, whatever happens at that point, but Oz just admitted his deepest, darkest secret to her, and because of that, and maybe even Rex Calabresi, right? Maybe he me even mentions that. Maybe we see how bad Oz is, all these bad things that Oz has done to get to this point. The people that he's taken out just to get slightly ahead in life, just to win his mother's affection, just to Rex Calabresi's aff affection. Who knows what's going on? So maybe he admits all this and his mother is just left deteriorated and broken and he sees no other option than to wipe her out. And that's when the shootout can occur that we've seen shots of. The shootout can occur from there, and then they can split up and go their separate ways, and then it could be the power play to get to one another from that point on. And that leads us to the fate of Victor. Victor Zaz, Jason Todd, 
I'm not sure how it's going to end, to be honest, but my, my gut is saying Victor's not going to make it out of this series alive. I would love him to. I would love him to go to Batman and be, play with Batman and be Batman's Robin or whatever. I would love that. Don't get me wrong. I just think for Oz to become the big villain, to get that point, I think he's going to kill his mother. I think he's going to kill Victor. And I think he might even go back and kill Eve. I think, I think he's going to be on a murder spree in this episode as it goes on. He might even take out, look, the way this show goes, he might even take out Sophia and Julian and everybody else very early on. And we could just see him going on a murder spree to become the kingpin that he wants to be, that he has des had, this, had this desire to be since he was a child. That could be what the path that we're going on. I think Victor's uh, dead meat in this episode, frankly. I think he's going to finally go. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You can come out. I'm okay with that, too, if I'm wrong. But I think Victor's done at the end of this episode. I think he's going to you know, maybe hold him responsible for what ends up happening with his mom, that he had to do what he did. But the only thing with that is that shows some sympathy for Oz. And I think by the end of this, we don't want to feel any sympathy. Like, he's just a straight-up bad guy. So maybe he kills Victor just to kill him because every bad guy kills one of their own. That's the old 80s motif. That's what you do. One bad guy kills one of their own. Bob? It's done. But then, of course, where is Batman? Where is Bruce Wayne? Is he going to make an appearance? I've done a couple of videos on that. I don't think he's going to have any part in this episode. I don't think there's going to be room for him. I don't think there's going to be a purpose for him. I think if you actually want to step back and think about it, I think Batman is at play. He's doing his thing. He's trying to figure out why the bomb went off, why the Falcone family was all wiped out. He's doing his job. We're just not seeing it because we're not looking at the show from his perspective. We're seeing this from the point of view of Oz and Sophia. And so Batman just, you know, unless he's right in the scene with them, we're not going to know what he's doing. That being said, there is a chance that we could see Drifter Bruce Wayne appear on some level, right? He could go to Crown's Point. There were rumors months and months and months ago, maybe even a year or so ago, that Bruce Wayne, that Robert Pattinson, I should say, was filming something for the finale of The Penguin. Now, that was obviously a rumor. Take that with a grain of salt. So that could be the case. There are also rumors that we're going to get Black Mask and we're going to get Clayface and we're going to get all these other ones and those didn't pan out. So you can't believe everything you read or hear or see unless it's on this YouTube channel. But that's my thought. I think there is a there is a chance we get Pattinson in this as Bruce Wayne, as Drifter Bruce Wayne going into the daylight stuff. Because I think Batman's reserved for, for the night stuff, obviously. So I think you get Drifter during the day. What happened with the explosion? Check out the explosion. He's a master detective, right? He wants to know what's going on. This is, this is the longest episode we've gotten so far at an hour and eight minutes, I believe. I think it's two minutes longer than the premiere, which was, which was obviously a great episode, and left us in shock right at the beginning, right, when he took out Alberto Falcone. And him taking out Sophia would be a good end cap to that, but again, I, I think, you know, you shove Sophia in Arkham, you don't have to use her in the next movie, but you can use her for another show, or you can use her, use her in, a, in the third movie if you want, and then you have a foil for Penguin, for Batman, and for anyone else in Gotham, as long as you want, as long as you keep her alive. But that being said, there's also part of me that says she's going to go the way of the dodo very, very early on. That's all I got on this. Let me know your thoughts on this episode. What are you expecting from the Penguin episode eight? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, maybe the master of your own universe.